Craig Roberts. Um, I'm also known as the Harry Potter, Harry with an I. Um, I make miniature pots and miniature rustic furniture, and I make entire pottery studios, and I make dragons that fire potters' kilns in miniature, and you know, I'm making miniature tools now even. But um, the Harry Potter thing came about from a little boy. And his older sister and girlfriends were taking a class before the Harry Potter movies came out. And he knew my name was Mr. Roberts, the clay guy. And he was real antsy because the girls hadn't cleaned up yet. So he's, he just wants to get his hands on the clay. And he's waiting there with the mom. And the girls are getting cleaned up and he keeps hearing Harry Potter this, Harry Potter that. And because they're making all these little inkwells and anything to do with the books. So he he just bursts out, he's kind of frustrated, and he goes, Well, you know, Mr. Wobbits, he's a wheel, Harry Potter. It's the most recent thing I've been doing. It's a uh, studio room box of very actually very close to what I actually work in kind of a mess the actual potter's wheel works in fact if you were a miniature person let's say this is one inch scale so one inch to a foot if you were let's say five and a half inches tall you could walk into the studio and work because there is actual clay in the bags and the boxes um, all the tools work. This is this is where you make handles and put them on and you keep it covered up so they stay nice and moist. Over here is where I decorate. And it's got all the little things. I have to get so many of these with the trees on, so many with cattails painted. Um, down here is where I do wall pieces, masks and things. Back in this corner, um, there's this incredible piece that my wife painted and made right here. She does a lot of Indian motifs. Uh, this is a piece of colonial style redware with the sgraffito. Um, let's see, all this stuff here would be stuff that was made and is drying and has yet to be fired. And as you can see, I run out of space, and so I start stacking things on the edges of shelves and off the top of this little chair, which is kind of precarious, but that's the way I actually do things. So um, down here, there's an actual order sheet for an order, and it's a couple pages long, but it's all this stuff here. And this is pretty much the way I would do it. I would have this mess of stuff just piled up and I check it off and box it up um, over here we have the sculpturing area where there's armatures and things for figures and right here we have a piece which is an actual footed bowl with a foot um, we have a piece up here which is a bursting face it's the clay's been ripped open and there's a little face sticking out of it. Um, let's see, the little details like the coffee pot, the candy bar, cheese. Just, you know, I, I put whatever I actually would have into my studios. Um, and often I take a I'll take a piece that's no good, toss it on the floor, like all this stuff up here, and I just kind of push it out of my way, but occasionally I step off the wheel and I step right on a piece. So I, in this particular workshop, I had the guy go outside of his world and scrape his boot off. So, and he did it again over here. And uh, someone was looking at it yesterday and they just said, hey, you got some something hanging off the edge here. And I said, no, that, that's what the potter had to wipe his foot off. He stepped in this old pot.